These pieces of plastic surround a slow neutron detector uh, that consists of helium-3 gas in a proportional tube. And this electronics over here is uh, counting the uh, uh, response of that tube to neutrons. Here we see the uh, meter is showing about 50 neutrons per second or about halfway up the scale. As I've noted in the uh, previous video, uh, the neutron source in use here is a fast neutron source uh, comprised of americium in close contact with beryllium and it releases neutrons with a mean energy of about 4 MeV. Uh, on contrast, or with, uh, in contrast to that, the uh, detector tube mostly detects slow neutrons that have been moderated in the plastic and reflected back into the tube. Now we're going to place a piece of cadmium, which is a very strong absorber of slow neutrons around the proportional counter, and we will see how that impacts the count rate. So first I'll take this piece of plastic out, and then I will temporarily remove the fast neutron source, if the tape will allow me. And we'll place the cadmium sleeve onto the tube. And I will replace the neutron source. And the piece of plastic. Now let's take a look at our count rate. It's taken a serious hit from the cadmium attenuation. It used to be up there at halfway up the scale at 50 per second. Now it's barely at 10 per second. So more than three quarters of our uh, neutron flux, uh, our low energy neutron flux that had been making it into the tube is now being eaten up by the cadmium. Let's try a somewhat different experiment. I'm going to take the cadmium sleeve off the tube and in this experiment I'm going to place the neutron source into a cadmium sleeve like that. Now I'll place the cadmium covered source onto the tube and I'll replace the piece of plastic and we will see what this has done to our neutron count rate. We used to be halfway up the scale, almost uh, 50 counts per second uh, before beginning this experiment. Now uh, we're almost uh, at 40 counts per second or almost uh, only one-fifth of where we were when uh, we had no cadmium whatsoever in here. So in contrast to the previous experiment where the cadmium sleeve covered the tube and attenuated uh, four-fifths of our neutron flux getting into the tube, now we are uh, putting the cadmium around the fast neutron source and the neutrons uh, at the high energies have no trouble getting through the cadmium. They are being moderated and reflected back into the detector by the surrounding plastic.